what's going on everybody it's your boy v back with another video and today we will be talking about music video treatments um i recently just if you follow me on instagram i hope you are at virtue if you follow me on instagram you see that i just released a video um from an artist named k it's called i hate it's called hate parties not i hate parties but hate parties um directed and edited by myself and my guy footage by fame uh we did it through uh a free music video giveaway if you follow me you know what i'm talking about but yeah so today we're going to be talking about music video treatments the treatment that i built for that specific video how i did it um how do i go about creating music video treatments because i know a lot of people don't do this but with music video treatments is really great when you can see you know everything that you're going to be doing in the music video once you have that that's the story. You're able to show your client. They, they're they able to see what you see and they trust you a little bit more. So I'm gonna dive into the music video treatment that I uh, did for her. I'm gonna show you how I did it, how I went about doing it, why certain things are what they are. And I'm also gonna leave a link in the description for you to actually be able to download it because I got it from somewhere as well. So yeah. All right, so here we go. We're gonna dive right into it. Um, if you have a Mac, iPhone, MacBook Pro, all of that'll work with this. So I use Pages, which is a Mac um, program. So we're gonna go right into it. Let's see, there it is, Pages, boom. And I already have the treatment that I did already up. Um, so let's just, let me just break it down. I'm gonna just slide through. So you can see how I set it up for that shoot. Um, and all, everything varies, you know, but starting at the top, I took, so what I do starting off is I go into YouTube and take screen grabs or I go into Pinterest and I use screen, I take screen grabs to formulate the mood, um, the texture, whether it's a uh, mist, do I want it to be airy? I find those type of photos, those type of vibes for the music video and what I want it to convey, if that makes sense for you guys. Um, so going, going, going in with this one, I heard the record, already knew it was like the song is a vibe. I know that's so cliche, keep saying a vibe, but it was a vibe. If you know, you know, you know. So I went into YouTube, went to some Snow Allegra, cause y'all know how she give it up. Um, took some screen grabs as you can see, at the, the top image right there, um, her against the wall, uh, then this shadow shot. And in Kay's Hate Parties video, um, you see this blue shadow shot that I took. So things don't have to necessarily be the same thing. They're just guidelines, you know? Of course, you're gonna do it your way, but these are just guidelines as to what type of shot, what feel you're looking for when going into the music video that you're shooting or being a part of. So the mood for this music film will be earth tones and an overall feeling of euphoric colors. So as you can see, if you've seen the video, you know we didn't use really a lot of earth tones, but we did use euphoric colors. Shout out to um, Skylar, our art director. She really came through with um, the set design for it and really honing in on exactly what type of vibe we were going for. Um, so yeah, so these blocks, I just typically, you know, for this first one, I always say the mood. I always write in here the mood for the music film in which I'll be doing. Next, I'll just start laying out photos. So this one, the film will showcase a sense of loneliness because in the song it was called hate parties and it was a sense of a lot of things going on around but she was staying still in her own zone you know what i mean singing her song uh conveying the lyrics in the song you know what i mean um this shot right here and like i said all these stills came straight from youtube I screen grabbed them, uh, screenshotted them, put them right in here. Um, this is Sabrina Claudio with her hand on her shoulder. Um, and this was for me, I used this specific image because I knew I wanted to use tight, intimate shots 
that will showcase a dreamlike feel as the artist performs. And if you've seen the video, you know exactly that's what that's a, a lot of what we did. You know what I mean? So here go more shots with like mist and fog. And to the to the left, you can tell, you can see that I said mist fog will be used to capture an atmospheric artifacts. Now if you don't know, I'm explain to you. The reason why fog is nine times out of 10 used is to create an atmosphere in the environment. So it won't feel so bland, especially if you're using lighting, it'll showcase those rays that comes in and out, you know? So that's always beautiful. And I try to incorporate mist, uh, mist or fog whenever I can. It just gives it a dreamy, you know, euphoric look, honestly, for real, for real. Um, on this one, it says cinematic shot of artist standalone chair in the middle of the room. The shot will capture emptiness. Now, I necessarily in Kay's video, we weren't necessarily we didn't put her in a chair in the middle of the room. We had her stand up in that one and capture something similar to this, but not the exact thing. Like I said, let me reiterate and I'm going to keep reiterating that these are just guidelines. Nothing is set in stone none of that once you get there and you've looked at your location hopefully you've already looked at the location but if you haven't when you get there you see certain things that might not work might work how you could do it differently etc etc you know uh on this one i said b-roll imagery will be captured of the talent looking through the windows stand alone holding herself now in this we did not capture this. And we really didn't capture a lot of B-roll in the video, period. You know, I think that's one of the things that, you know, if you could take away anything from each project that you do is always one thing. So for me, it was, we should have got a lot more B-roll, you know? But hey, that's neither here nor there. Who, who really cares, honestly? It still was a dope video, you know? We, we really pulled that project off. Um, right here where it says mood board, you'll see these euphoric colors. We used none of these. We used blues, but we didn't really hone in on the purples and pinks. Some on some instances in the video, you could see pink outline that we had. Shout out to my boy, um, visuals by at Ave. Uh, he brought out the Nova panel and he had it on an RGB and it was just blinking different colors. So on a lot of those scenes where she has the microphone, you can see the accent of light that's that's uh, surrounding her every time. And it was a pink one that popped up and I really, really, really love that um, imagery. And then at the bottom, I just, you know, I capitalize on director's name, director of photography, lighting technician. I always give, um, I always give shots out to the team because the team is the backbone of your shoot and they deserve to be credited in the capacity in which they were there and helped you in it goes a long way people i'm telling you man you can't do this without without a team you just can't and i'm gonna do a video on that diving more into that i'm not gonna get into it right now but yeah so after that the shoot date and then you just send this you just send this out it don't even look like much but this literally conveys the whole entire visual you know what i mean so once you get in the habit of doing these and getting more precise then you can really you know hone in on your skill hone in on your craft and to be more efficient that's what we're doing it for to be more efficient music video treatments are to help you be more efficient every time you don't want to keep going out and not and running gunning everything. Now, granted, sometimes those are those turn out lit too. Don't get me wrong, I've done that on plenty of shoots. But when I can, I like to have my music video treatment so I know for a fact everything that will be involved. Um, and included in my music music video treatments, you didn't see it right here. But for me, music video treatments also is my shot list and what type of shots that I want to get. So when you seen up there that I had um, that silhouette shot, that was a shot that I wanted to get as well, you know? So it's just conveying the mood, the vibe of the video that you're, you're doing and making sure that you can do it as efficient as possible and effective. 
So yeah, this was V's TED Talk. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.